Okay. Make a motion would come out of executive session. <coughs> motion made, Mr. Wilcox, come out of executive session. Second. Second, Mr. Keyes. All favor say aye. Aye. All opposed. Let the record reflect no action taken during executive session. Okay. So Mr. Let's look. He wants to address uh, the issue of the bike paths, and I've got one other issue that uh, that is informative and directional. Mine's directional, north and south. <laughs> Old Fannin Road. And I'm just getting constant pressure to keep the bike paths clean. Okay. I don't know what to do. Any thoughts? <laughs> I know we've discussed that quite a few times, but I thought we had. Doesn't. Yeah. Did we have any? Pleasant Flowwood, sweet one end of it. The Flowwood comes up to, I guess, about where the library is. It and then PRV, PRV picks up the spillway. Well, yeah. why don't we work out some kind of interlocal agreement between the two of them and have them add our strip, which is. It's just short, really, would be. What, what kind of distance are we talking about? Half a mile, maybe, or whatever it is. Oh, it's more than half a mile. Uh, yeah, it's <laughs> probably yeah. only. It's more. about. Back and forth, six miles. miles. It's about two miles. Oh. Total. Yeah. Well, I mean, add that part into either Flowood or PRVs as an interlocal agreement, and let them sweep that part for us when they're doing theirs. Yeah. Go. Well, what are they wanting a vacuum machine? Well, they're, yeah, they're <laughs> wanting. That's what I thought. Well, they well that's what y'all have. I think is a vacuum. Yeah, yeah. Well, we <coughs> but a, a, a broom machine. is a broom. I, I swept it with a broom the other day. You did? Yes. I was out a picture of that. Oh, sure. What I sure did. You know where the, the uh, where mud bugs is, the yeah. car lot, and the yeah. produce stand, and all that gravel that comes out. Mm, right. Well, see, that was what something we did discuss, too. I went out there and swept that for the bike riders the other day. We made some comment on that, too, Ronnie. A lot of it was created from the rocks, obviously, from that type and of And that one spot. Right yeah. away. How far, how much easement do we have there? Would it, is it legal for us to asphalt that apron? No? No, sir. It won't be. Once we get off the right of way, it's a okay. problem. Up in park and <coughs> if I may, you Would can, it be their their problem then? Mud you bugs? Can, you can address it from. I believe you can address it from a nuisance standpoint. Um, that is, that the, the the rocks are being allowed to get out into the public domain, and so uh, I don't know how go. much traction we can get on that. But I think if you wanted to start the process, that's how you start it. Well, start it as a nuisance. A good point because if you got a, a logger that's tracking mud in the road, we're on him immediately, and he's scraping, sweeping, doing what he can to get that mud out of there. I mean, that's common. Yeah, well, with uh, that, dirt yes, hauler, too. Yeah, with that, I think he has to put up a bond and all that stuff. Yeah, we do yeah. that through a permitting no. process right. for that. No, um, not the ones I'm talking about. Log the loggers, they don't have to put a bond up for that. Logger, er, loggers don't go out and put bonds up for every, every time they log. But Jerry, we do that through a logging permit. Right. And so we have a insurance. permit for the mm -hmm. logging, right. and it's in the language of the permit. And they do have a certificate of insurance that. that goes along. Yeah, with but it. I mean, but there's no so, bond. But yeah, I mean, but still, at least something that we. we call it's them not to. anything there we're forced to do, other than we go out and basically enforce them to do that. Did we do? Um, when they were put in there, mud bugs was there any? It was probably a conditional use, so it's. Yeah. Good possibly, question. Uh, Greg, I'm, uh, I would assume, though, that that is commercial. Now, that the condition of use may have been for outside storage. Right, I don't know. Okay, so I don't know if we would have addressed anything about them sweeping or right. maintaining. Yeah, I don't know what it was. Lot. I doubt it. Most likely not. <coughs> Again, about the scope of the authority in this of respect is going to be in the nuisance area. Right. That, that their gravel lot is creating. Nuisance right. And safety. Property. Safety. Well, there are two or three 
different businesses along there that are gravel. Yes. Are there? Old Fanning Home, yeah. Autoplex. Yeah. yeah, how are they? They're all right there right together. That's what I swear. Oh. That's the vegetable stand. 300 yeah. feet. Well, it's all of them then. Okay. So, I mean, is it possible to, to see if flow wood would continue sweeping that side for us and let us just pay them? Yes, sir. I think that'd be a good idea. Is that That's yep. probably the most that economical. I mean, you gotta be able a lot cheaper than us. We can't because we don't have any way to so you gotta be able to take care of that for us. Well, yeah, but with, through our attorneys, I can get Craig and uh, Lamb together with that. So okay. with an interlocal, see what kind of sure wouldn't hurt to ask. Out. Yeah, it would not hurt to ask, um, and and I could see a, a mutually beneficial sure. result coming there. So okay. we'll we'll make it a point to ask. Good idea, Walter. <clears throat> Yep, I got anything else on that? No, me. That's all you. That's no, I'm not, just waiting on yeah. him. <laughs> Get it done. Okay. A uh, few, few weeks ago, I um, talked to you all about the right of way uh, acquisition for uh, Gunner Road, where we had already done design and everything. And I was wondering if, uh, Ms. Parker, if you had a chance to look up at any. Uh, some type of dollar figure you're talking about estimated that might would run. Yes, yes sir, I have. On Gunner Road, we figured up to uh, about 15 and a half acres total on the road and using uh, 20 cents a square foot, which we understand is basically the going rate. Uh, 134,500. Okay. I'd, I'd, I'd wish uh, I'd, I wish y'all would consider looking into go ahead and moving forward on that. That's we got um, we have money already invested in that, and we have the like design and everything. And I wish uh, I'd appreciate y'all giving us some consideration. To, Maybe add that to the agenda to we can move forward on acquiring that. It's actually is not as much as I thought it was going to be. I was scared of the number. Well, we think we think we're real close on it. Of course, <coughs> what I did, I went back and forth. Glad that we did years, several years ago, years ago, how many years ago it was, and pulled eight. That's about $8,700 an acre. You break it down by 20 cents. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of, uh, that's a heavily populated, I mean, it's just solid down through there as far as residential. And uh, so, I mean, he's looking at. That's where you're looking at so many parcels. 93. 93 parcels. 93. A few of, of the rights of way have already been acquired. When the initial project was moving forward under the bond issue, uh, the appraiser had already appraised the uh, right of way footage that was being acquired at 10 cents a foot. And that goes back to 2009. <coughs> 10. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <coughs> About 10 cents a foot. So when Mr. Buster and I were talking about coming up with an estimated value, we just we doubled what we were paying in 2010 for the right of way. I think that's a very conservative estimate. In other words, it may not be quite as much as that. No, I think when the, the appraiser actually goes out and, and does a formal takeoff on what the right of way is actually worth, the fair market value. So maybe slightly less than 20 cents a foot, but. You know, keep keep in mind that right of play is, is it's always all frontage. It's the mm -hmm. it's the highest dollar value of the parcel. I think you're gonna find a, uh, I think you're gonna find people pretty willing to cooperate considerably on that. You might I like obviously you can run maybe some hard ones, but most of them are uh, are have been looking 
part of that for some time. So you will uh, you will incur some costs associated with the appraiser. East of 49 Briar Hill. Right. Uh, so don't forget that there'll be some additional costs associated with the appraiser. The appraiser's going to have to come up with what we call a brochure appraisal. It's a way for the value to be established so that when your acquisition agent goes out and starts meeting with landowners, he's got something to go by. Mm -hmm. Documented proof of value that he can then provide for an offer, purposes of an offer, offer, encourage donation, and those kinds of mm -hmm. things. And so there's more involved. The, the number you've just been given is if everybody who needs to, to give right of way is demanding to be paid and is demanding fair value. I, I'm thinking of some that have approached me several times that are. Because some of the hills, I think they're going. To, you're going to find them very willing to work with you. I mean, they they want to know why it's not cut here at my house, and I try to explain to them why I, the obvious reasons. But I think you're going to find them very willing to. Uh, I wouldn't shoot them at that high side. Right. I think you know, they are going to be willing to accommodate <clears throat> in some situations. Is that going to come out of the road fund? Is that where that's coming out? It would come out of the road fund. Yep. And it's possible that some of the property owners have changed since we got prepared for flats. There'll be some additional type of work. There'll be a cost associated with the acquisition agent. So keep that in mind. But that's probably not a bad number. Sort of use as an estimate. Mm -hmm. Between 100 and 200. I'd like to try that way. This anyway, maybe another some other project we could uh, another project we may could get into the uh, maybe CMPD uh, circle if we've done these steps. These are the steps they require you to do is uh, design and right away to have that because if money is available. Is only for construction dollars. Right. <clears throat> so, do you want to add that? Right. In fact, like I said, this is a lower number than I expected with, with knowing the property there. So, at what point would you do the environmental impact study? So, at what point would you do the environmental impact? Well, you would, you would obviously do that before construction is initiated. But uh, we've already done some environmental work on in our design. Is that one of the steps that has to be done, Jerry, before the? Um, I'm not sure of that. I'm, to, uh, I'm not sure. What are you talking about to seek federal funding or try to get some federal dollars for it? Uh, they, they don't want to know. That wasn't a concern when Gunner was on the table previously because we were paying for it out of bond issues. So mm -hmm. yeah. it wasn't a federal component. Right. And it and it may not can be one now, but I mean at least you have these uh I guess pieces of the puzzle. There either either way it goes, it this is a uh, needed um you know part of it and we already already have the um, already got I guess money in it skin invested in it now you've got several rights away already acquired you said there's 93 left no sir 93 oh 93 total. total I honestly can't recall how many we have yeah, yeah. and it has not increased because it's it's fully developed down through there yeah. so, I mean it's not like you got any increase in it Do you want to add that item, Jim? I'd like to consider it, so yeah, I would. would. I'd make a motion to add this item to the agenda. Second. Motion to add the um, Gunner Road right away. Um, authorize, I guess, the acquisition of the Gunner Road um, right away to the agenda. Second by Mr. Wilcox. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? 
I appreciate that. I think they would. The, I guess my only, uh, you know, this, this will see some movement. I think it'd be good to have that. Thank y'all. Do you want to go ahead and approve it? Yeah, <laughs> we got to add to the agenda. That's right. That's true. Okay, motion. we've added it to the agenda. I make the motion to approve this item. Second. Motion approved by myself. Second, Mr. Wilcox. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed. Thank you. In like manner, can I throw in here uh, the follow-up on our discussion of Taylor Lake District Four? Uh, we referred to that as the Pig Trail. Uh, it came to our attention, the county's attention, uh, because first responders were having difficulty getting to a, a, uh, a location, a residence on Taylor Way in order to, to, to respond to an emergency situation. Uh, Mr. Buster has gone out and staked a right of way for that road um, and has determined an estimated amount of cost to acquire the right of way. Yes, sir. We're estimating this is it's gonna be a fifty foot right of way and that's what our assumption is right now. We can come out and go all the way to the end of it. No we're done. We're done. We're done. Eight portion and the gravel portion. It's two a little over two acres of right of way. So that amounts to twenty thousand dollars, nineteen thousand three sixty seven, so say twenty thousand dollars on that get right of way. Some of the digging that they actually called the son of the road. That's the number one around mm. point about. Mm. Typically what we do in situations where it's a road that the county has been providing some sort of maintenance on, but it's unclear because there's no right. formal right of way <coughs> in our hands. What we typically do is we assign a, what's called a prescriptive easement, an area and we acquire, formally acquire that area that we've been maintaining through history by way of quick claim instruments, by, by way of a quick claim deed. So that area does not cost you as much as a regular right of way where you're mm -hmm. acquiring right. actual private property. If mm -hmm. we've been maintaining it, mm -hmm. then it's by operation of law, it's the counties. We all not have to buy mm -hmm. it. Y'all right. know that? In order to get it resolved, most of the time we will pay a little something for the exchange of the quick claim instrument that settles the question forever. Mm -hmm. Right. So that would be how we would do that, and I would expect that the number you've been given, the twenty thousand, just like it was on Gunner, is going to be that's a high estimate. I don't think it's going to take that much to get uh, to get what we need. But we need to know are y'all prepared? And now that Mr. Y'all had already authorized Mr. Buster to send his folks out to actually uh, determine the scope of the right mm -hmm. way that was gonna need to be acquired and get us a cost. Now it's time to know whether or not y'all are prepared to move forward with designing and, right. and getting the plats together so we could get out mm -hmm. there and acquire the right of way. When you, I almost think, uh, I, I saw it, I looked at it. it. I think a lot of those, a lot of those people would be willing to but donate to yeah. to get that done. Lord, this will I think the question may, be, be may not. Huh? I'm, we're going to find out if they're willing to, to donate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're not going to go in and just Gosh, say, the improvement hey, that it would do. We're going to ask them to donate. Well, it would be everybody but the guy at the very end. Yeah. It, the improvement yeah, would be, uh, yeah. be a problem. tremendous. So for them, and the property value. Do you know who that is? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Would y'all <laughs> just be willing to entertain adding that? Authorized I'll do that. Notion of the actual plats and legal descriptions, and you would be authorized in the process to get out there and acquire the rights of what? Okay. Plans. That's right. I'll make it. I'll make a motion. I'll make a motion to add that item to the agenda. Second. Motion to add title away, uh, right away to the agenda by Mr. Johnson. Second, Mr. Keith. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed. A motion to approve this. How does it, what was the motion? Motion is actually to, to authorize, authorize uh, 
uh, mm -hmm. Mr. Buster, uh, to uh, develop the plants and the legal descriptions for the rights of way that we need to acquire, and then to move forward with the design of the actual road itself, uh, those two things. Um, I would like for you to go ahead and authorize me as board attorney to secure the acquisition agent and the appraiser so that when we have the plans and legals, they can go ahead and do their work with an eye towards acquiring the right of way. I'll make a motion to approve that request. Second. I'll, second. I'll second that motion of that request. Motion of Mr. Johnson uh, to, to move forward on this Taylor Way, right away, acquisitions. A second by Mr. Keith. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed. Okay. All right. Uh, any other? Okay. Okay, then it looks like we'll recess until September 15th. Nine o'clock. I make got, them. Huh? You got something? I, mean, I just wanted to ask about DC. Is that still on? Uh, is for me. Okay. Okay. Any discussion on that? Oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk. Sure I have a ready. CMPD meeting tomorrow uh, uh, Wednesday. I'm gonna talk to them some more about some of the things I talked about. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna talk to some couple particularly. Uh, I think it's Wednesday. I have a luncheon there, so just let you know. I'm gonna talk to them then. Okay. Okay. Make a motion. We recess, recess till September 15, 9 a.m. Second. Okay. Motion to recess by Mr. Wilcox. Second, Mr. Uh, Johnson. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed. 